Think that time-trapped anti-monitor has learned his lesson yet? Just set up my terminal's connection and we'll use my genius solution again. Whoa, Imperial Atlanteans, Queen Diana's Amazons, and Paradox Demons. Something got screwed up big time, and now someone's trying to hack my connection. Hold on. Just got a little curious about any new players in the game, Calculator. Oh, and I'm Cyborg. And if you know what these Paradox Demons are, we should talk. The nerve of that Cyborg, but... Secure the channel. He's way too willing to invite outsiders. Let's go exploit that. We're the response team here, but it's Lois Lane's resistance that's gathering critical info. Can you back us up? Those things are Paradox Demons, huh? Well, they seem to be attacking people from both our worlds. I'll track down some experts, try and confirm if that means we're both experiencing paradoxes. Okay, the experts say our paradox is related to some unknown force related to speed, while your paradox is tied to the anti-monitor, somehow. It seems like some cosmic force has brought our paradox worlds together. I'll investigate further. Intercepted more info. Sounds like my reality is part of a flashpoint prophecy that shouldn't exist. Heavy stuff, but can't say I'm surprised. Was surprised to learn the Quardians might be confused by the Anti-Monitor's paradox. He either has or will overwrite the timeline. Not much of a report, but hopefully, Cyborg can make sense of all the data. So, Lois Lane says we're part of a Flashpoint paradox reality that shouldn't exist. Well, I don't always agree with shoulds when framed like that. One of my newest allies, Professor Zoom, has an idea for how to start stabilizing what he's calling a flux in the Speed Force. You ready to hustle on out there? Thanks for helping another day. Thank you for coming. We're gonna have a good day today. I can feel it. Your work here is critical. What once started as an inspirational alliance between Atlanteans and Amazons has escalated non-stop into a global war with little care for the innocents caught in the crossfire. I've seen Atlantis sink half of Europe while the Amazons capture the other half. What will it take to finally end the war? Or will their hate escalate indefinitely? Emperor Aquaman betrayed and abducted King Brion Markov then presumably forced his former ally to use his Earth powers to sink half of Europe into the sea. This latest assault by a water elemental has this reporter asking, is this attacking water elemental also being controlled against its will? Queen Diana has been airdropping all sorts of mythical beasts against her enemies. These attacks are especially difficult to defend against because of how little warning her invisible planes give their targets. Initially presumed to be a new magical attack from either the Amazons or the Atlanteans, this flux in the newly explained speed force seems to be the cause of the problem. First the war between New Themyscira and Atlantis, and now some cosmic being called the Anti-Monitor has dragged us into another reality. What's his plan? He has rebuffed all attempts at being interviewed. From what I've been able to tell from those I'm interviewing, the Anti-Monitor attempted to destroy Earth, but was thwarted year after year by a team of speedsters who would displace the being throughout time. Sources from both Star Labs and LexCore confirm the Anti-Monitor was released by a scientist's attempt to study the origin of the universe. As far as they can ascertain, Centennial Park was the site of the cosmic being's first assault on the positive matter worlds. Quardians are attackers from the antimatter universe and serve the anti-monitor. Based on their battle cries, they seem more singularly focused on the goal of removing positive matter from the multiverse. I've gotten an exclusive update from Cyborg that these strange creatures attacking are called Paradox Demons, and they usually attack realities that have been twisted by paradoxes. What does that imply about our existence and our ability to continue existing? I'll keep searching for answers. 
This reporter witnessed a battle of lights between the Green Lantern, Abin Sur, and his attacker, Sinestro. In this fight, Sinestro referred to the prophecy Someone of Flashpoint. What is this Flashpoint? How did it create a paradox, and how did it merge with another reality's paradox? I'm continuing to search out answers. The Resistance is made up of regular people like me. Together we can down the monsters attacking the city. We can do this!
Solidarity. not stand in the way of my vengeance! Let's play a little game, it's called Road Rash, and you're it. Thank you for trying. We'll try again and again. That's all any of us can ever do. Lois Lane with the Resistance. We're calling on everyone who supports freedom to take out the powerful enemies roaming the city. The Resistance thanks you. Stay strong. Yeah, we have standing orders to protect the city against superpowered societies, Amazons, and Atlanteans included. And we appreciate your aid here. Appreciate it. You've earned this. I've set up a protection racket for the Quardians. Time to collect. Come on, let's kick out those Quardians. Nothing will be left of this universe, except an endless font of paradox energy for me to feast on. 
The multiple time paradoxes have made this universe irresistible and the endless supply of energy for me to feast on. Minions, you must perfect the technology to dampen the exobites. Clear any obstacles to my arrival. Every earthling you convert into antimatter is another morsel of energy to sate my appetite. My Quardians and Shadow Demons, soon we shall have enough power to break into their reality. And then, I will devour their universe. And a nice, tidy profit for the both of us. Cheers. The Paradox Demons are attacking entire realities. I can help you stop them. Practical application is very important to scientists, so please, apply yourself. Thank you for saving us from the Paradoxes. I know we can find a more preservation-focused solution. Star Labs is here to help take on these Summoned Shadow Archons. It's simple science. We just return them back to their own dimension. Wow, uh, thanks for the assist. <laughs>